Hi, Chase Sexton here at Thunder Valley. Uh, well, first of all, red plates. When you walk under the tent, you see your bike has red plates on it. Does it even give you a little bit more like, oh, all right, here we go? Yeah, it feels good. Um, haven't seen the red plate since, I think, Phoenix uh, in Supercross, so it's nice to see it on there. I uh, I intend on keeping it to the last round, but, um, yeah, it's so early that red plate or not doesn't really make a difference. I just it's, It is nice to have it on there. It looks good, and uh, with the number four, it looks even better, so... Uh, yeah, excited for the weekend, but yeah, it does it does make you feel good when you walk under and see that. I know you talked last week about Thursday you had that big test, made the change, and everything was a lot better for the weekend. Um, so how did this week go? Like, was there minimal testing, minimal changes, and you just were grinding, putting motos in, or what? Yeah, really. I was kind of just focused on recovery this week and then also riding and doing motos. So, yeah, I didn't do any bike changes, which is nice. It's, it's been a while since I've been able to do that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no bike changes, just focus on myself, and it was uh, kind of relaxing for me. Uh, you, you talked a little bit on Pulp about starts, things that you're trying to work on with starts a little bit. Uh, is there things that you're kind of pinpoint still that you're trying to get better at? I think launch out of the gate was the key area, but are you working on that? What are you working on with it? Yeah, I mean, the launch out of the gate is the biggest thing. I lose everything in the first, like, 10 feet. So for me, I need to go out there and explode off the gate and not be so lazy. Um, this weekend should be easier with it being first gear. It's kind of hard to be lazy off the <laughs> gate. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. And I think the work we did this week, we did some good start practice on Tuesday. And uh, hopefully it pays off. We'll with see. The with the first gear start and it being uphill, how quickly do you shift and how many shifts do you get in? Yeah, you got to – I think uh, the biggest thing I changed in Supercross is getting my feet on the pegs faster so I get the shift. Yeah. And that's when I did it. I did it right before Denver, and that's obviously elevation. That's Salt Lake's elevation. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously key, but here with it being uphill, you actually don't run out as fast, and it's kind of lugs the bike down, yeah. so you still got to get it fast, but it's kind of the same to second gear at sea level to here at elevation and first gear, so it, it won't be much different. Hunter Lawrence here at Thunder Valley. Uh, first two rounds have been really solid for you so far. I know the last week didn't go exactly the way you wanted to, but have you been satisfied overall to just be in the mix both rounds? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't say... Last weekend didn't go the way I expected or wanted, you know, it was still a great weekend. Second, um, with a bike we were struggling a lot with, so all of that considered, mate, I think it was, uh, it was a pretty good weekend. What are the key points on the bike that you're still trying to work through then at the moment? Just all the suspension, mate, you know, new, new suspension components and stuff like that. Um, just bits and pieces like that. The bike handling, I mean, uh, the engine, everything else is, is really good and, and just, I mean, same as everyone. Everyone's dealing with suspension stuff, come from Supercross, you kind of have limited time testing on outdoors, so it's just that, uh, that short turnaround, you know, you hit the mark sometimes and you just land uh, running, you know, and other times you land and you kind of skip, stop and, and fall to your knees and you keep going, you know. Uh, one thing that's really stood out for you is your starts through those two rounds as well. Have you been quite satisfied to see that the work you guys have done at home has translated to the track? For sure. I think having a very, very competitive motorcycle helps as well. Uh, no secret in the 250s going up against those blue rockets is, is no easy task at hand for sure. You know, you have to be absolutely to perfection in every little aspect and you know to be level with those boys off the start so it's been good though we're stoked try to keep them going coming off your first 450 supercross season it doesn't seem like there's any sort of like lingering effects of doing all 17 rounds of supercross how have you actually felt with that transitioning back to racing motocross after 18 rounds so far basically yeah good i mean it's it's a long season and you just handle it differently you know 250s you have a lot more time even though you feel like you you don't. Uh, the Supercross season is a lot more casual and you got more time. You get way more motocross stuff in. Just speaking of past experience, you get a lot more time on outdoors and uh, it's been good though. Well, check in with me in another 12 weekends. Okay, last one for you. Do you feel that as we move east, you're going to even start feeling more comfortable and better with the tracks out there and that this was a little bit more of just getting used to the California tracks? Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. I dislike the west coast motocross tracks quite a bit so yeah absolutely i think we start coming into some badass rounds where you know just looking at past seasons if we can get through the first few pretty good um it's a the gets better hayden deegan here at thunder valley uh so already in the championship lead by a good little margin you've had two really successful rounds are you still trying to take it one round at a time or are you already starting to think like okay this is going to be a championship fight for the long haul I mean, definitely my goal is a championship, uh, especially how the season started. That's always, I mean, I came into Supergrass. Your goal is always to get a championship, especially when people, 
kind of have the eyes on you to go win. But this year, I feel like in the outdoor season, it's it's you know it's my time to win. Uh, I've worked hard for it. We've done a lot of work in the off season. Done a lot of work with my dad, my team. So um, yeah, it's slowly becoming that time. Like you said, you did a lot of work, but did you surprise yourself with how good the first two rounds how have gone coming off of Supercross and not knowing, I guess, where you maybe fit in with this field outdoors again? Yeah, I mean, again, I went in Salt Lake was a good confidence boost because that kind of gave me like a, all right, you can beat these guys straight up, right? So, uh, I mean, you had RJ, you had Levi, those dudes going for a, ch uh, a championship, riding their hardest, and you beat them, so that's cool. And then, yeah, coming into outdoors round one, I knew I was, I'm a little better on outdoors. Like Supercross, I'm I'm still getting there. You know, I still got some stuff to learn in Supercross. Outdoors, 100% got stuff to learn, but I feel like I'm more of an outdoor guy. I grew up doing outdoors a lot more. And yeah, I just got going outdoors, won the first round. And I mean, last year, Paula got second there. So again, I mean, comfortable in that, that surrounding down in California. But I mean, didn't go on a home track last weekend and we still won, so. You talk about the confidence that you got from winning Salt Lake City. So how did the confidence from Hangtown Moto 1 feed into this week? Because that was one of the more impressive rides that we've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I've established it in my head that I could come from 10th place and win. So that was cool. Uh, started 10th and just, I mean, hammered my way through and three laps to go pass for the lead. So, I mean, it's just like little things like that that you get through your head. So, like, say you do have a day where you get a bad start, you know you can get to the front. And uh, just little confidence boosters like that. But, I mean, obviously, dialing in those starts so you can start up front makes your life a whole lot easier. Uh, just thinking back to the crash, though, was it something that it just caught you off guard? Was it something that you wanted to maybe work on with the bike kicking you or anything this week? Or is it just a complete freak deal? I mean, definitely. I mean, this early in the season, you're going back and forth with suspension. But, I mean, again, you look at that race and everyone's bikes weren't handling that great. That track's very, uh, it's it's weird, you know. But uh, that, that crash was just random, honestly. I mean, it caught me out of nowhere. I was... I was feeling good. I was, you know, pinned down my laps and just out of nowhere caught my rear through me. But I mean, freak stuff happens like that. Like you can ask anyone that's at the top level crashes like that. Sometimes just happen. I mean, that's just how this sport is. Uh, Thunder Valley always, we talk about elevation and the star bikes do so well here. Is it nice to know that more than likely you guys are going to have good starts this weekend and it's going to put you in a good position? Yeah, hundred percent. Having a star bike up in elevations, uh, really nice. Last year, like first mode, I believe we were like one through four on star bikes. So that's uh, definitely a confidence booster coming into this place. And I mean, our bike's a whole lot better suspension-wise than I had it last year. That last year, I ran up front for a while, but my bike was so handling it so bad, I was making too many mistakes. And this year, we've cleaned up a lot of stuff, so I think this year will be good. Levi Kitchen here at Thunder Valley. Um, as we move into non-California rounds, I feel like we're getting more into your vibe. You're also training in Florida. Uh, are you happy about the move away from California? It's going to fit you a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. I, I you know, I. I did pretty decent at the first couple, but I felt I struggled a little bit. So I um, always have loved this race. And honestly, yeah, all the tracks from here on out, I think Southwick's after High Point now, right? Yeah, so yeah. that one's always fun. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to these next few rounds. Do you feel like bike setup wise, you're already in a pretty good spot where it's going to fit through all the rounds coming up to you? Uh, I feel like now after this week, because we did some stuff and uh, the bike's pretty I think it's in a pretty good spot now. Um, I have multiple different setups I feel like I can use now. So, you know, I kind of based on how the track develops, you know, the last few races are really fast. So I kind of have a setting for that now, which is good. What are the key things you worked on this week? Just suspension or what? Yeah, just suspension pretty much. Um, so now that you've kind of seen the pace through the first two rounds that Hayden's been putting down, is there stuff that you kind of learned that you're going to use maybe this week or in the next couple of weeks to stick on him a little bit better throughout the moto? Yeah, for sure. He's just... Uh, He's really good, like from the gate drop, and and also, you know, he seems to his speed's manageable, and and he's pretty strong at the end of the moto. So, um, you know, I just need to get more comfortable going that pace, and uh, I think between me, him, and Tom, like, you know, we're gonna have our our, our good days, and um, you know, maybe I was just a little bit off last weekend, so. I'm looking forward to this one, and I'm really gonna I'm gonna send it this weekend. Well, like you said, you were maybe a little bit off last week. So how nice is it knowing an off week is still a three three day for you? Yeah, that's. I mean, I actually uh, Justin Cooper. I was talking to him before the season started, and he was just telling me about like the year he almost won, and he was like, if you can try to get 40 points every weekend, like you're gonna be in the fight at the end of the end of the series. So that's the goal is just to get good starts and 
and basically put a foot on the box every weekend and, and try to mix it up. Tom Vial here at Thunder Valley. Uh, finally get on the Moto Win board last week with that one in the second moto. What was kind of the biggest key change you feel like from Moto 1 to Moto 2? I know you talked about suspension changes, but was it all that or did you find something else too? Yeah, I think was most, I was, I was not really happy on the bike was, especially the balance of the bike um, was a lot, um, the, my front was too high from the first, I would say, Pala and the first motor in Hankton. So I was like, okay, we, I think it come from the shock, so we had to be a little bit higher mm -hmm. to put more pressure in the front, and um, it was good. I felt great. Second motor, I was like, okay, this is the bike I want, and that was what I was looking for, to be honest. And I just, uh, I was all right. I can I can match the pace from, from Aiden for sure. I was really mad after first motor. I was right behind Aiden, and I wasn't happy really how the, my bike was feeling. And I was like, guys, I can ride like him. Uh, there's no way like I, he's faster. And I was, okay, let's try to change the shock. We change the shock, and I felt way better. And second motor, I was I was catching him, so it was, was really nice. And uh, I'm really happy with that. Hopefully, we can continue that way. Now that you've raced all these tracks once before, are you leaning on old setups from last year at all, or is it completely different this year? No. Last year, I went in the wrong way. That's why I was I was riding pretty bad earlier in outdoor. And um, I'm back to another setup, more like I was in Europe, actually. Okay. The same, kind of the same setup. And I feel way better. So um, yeah, it's kind of new. I, knew, I know the track, so uh, here it's, it's a nice track. Big reds, um, it's kind of the layout is really cool, so I'm really excited for tomorrow. Yeah, so do you feel that like now moving into these, this isn't an East Coast track, but we're not in California anymore. Yeah. As we move east across the country, do you feel you're gonna find more comfort than yeah, with the setup? I like when the dirt's a little bit softer. I actually like both. Um, a lot of people, when you come from south of France, you train your whole life on a really like concrete, like <laughs> super hard track. I would say even more hard than Alpac than California, like kind of the same, but um, I've been moving since I was like 18 in, in Belgium, so train a lot in the sand, in the soft condition, so I kind of like it both, to be honest. But uh, I think those, those tracks, now we move to the other coast, will suit me uh, maybe better. Just last week at Hangtown, both starts were not ideal for you, yeah. you kind of more mid-pack. Did you work on stuff like that this week to be better this weekend? Um, not really. I did like three starts, I think, this week. <laughs> um, no, I was, sometimes it can happen, like, um, here in, we are in elevation, so the bike yeah. are way slower. I think we have to start first gear, or we're gonna try today, press day, a little bit of the bike feels. But, uh, and especially here, the track is really uphill. It's kind of a big uphill after the, um, the start, so we will see. Uh, hopefully my start are better, because I start both motor like 10 and 9 or something, and I had to pass a lot of guys. Yeah. So um, hopefully my style will be better this weekend. All right, Joe Shimoda here at Thunder Valley. Um, I asked you last week to give me a percentage that you've been getting better. How much did this week, another week of just trying to slowly get better with the ankle feel, and are you at a spot now where you're maybe a little bit more comfortable? Um, yeah, I mean, each week learning the bike and, and myself. Um, I guess my, you know, like you, say, like you said, the setup is so far off and anybody's really, so it kind of surprises the team a little bit. So, uh, in the, yeah, just the direction that I feel like they've never been to it, so. Um. Is this a round that you look forward to, the dirt here and the soil, the elevation as well? Do you like it here? I don't mind it. I don't mind any tracks, really. Okay. <laughs> I just take it the same, but yeah, I feel I feel better this weekend. So. Well, uh, here it's kind of important to get a good start, that uphill start elevation as well. Uh, do you feel that you're getting into a spot with the Honda as well, where you can get a launch off the gate that's comparable to the other guys on the gate with you? Um, I think, I mean, Chance pulled the whole shot last weekend, and uh, I think I think we can, like, do it. So we just have to be, like... I mean, super precise and be perfect, but yeah, like, um, but yeah, in the past, uh, Supercross, we raced Salt Lake and Denver, and uh, I mean, Denver, I pulled a whole shot, so I have a good feeling on elevation, um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, while you're still dealing with the injury and thinking of the bigger picture for the championship, is it just each week trying to limit the damage so when you're back to full strength you can kind of be still in the fight? Yeah, I mean, this this weekend is finally the, a week I think I'm going to ride without any taping or anything on it. Um, Pala was the worst. I, I could really, if I step any, any time, it, it hurts so bad. So I was trying to, you know, ride whole time without, you know, putting my feet out. So it was a tough one, but... Um, I mean, even like driving me into the first corner, I feel a lot more comfortable putting feet out. So it's a, it's a little thing. And um, I mean, you can't really complain about this, but uh, better. Yeah, better. Given that you had little riding time coming into the season, do you feel like you were actually closer at Fox and Hangtown than you expected to be because you had limited testing and you were hurt? Like closer to the front of the pack? 
like uh, since you didn't have much time to test yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you obviously were a little bit injured did you feel that you maybe did a little bit better than you even expected because you're dealing oh, with all those things um, I would say hang time was a little better uh, like just the riding wise and uh, like I, I feel like I had you know closer pace to the top guys so um, yeah like all the data I'm, I'm I, when I look back I'm more like not looking back at Paula, uh, instead I look up um, Hangtown because it was for me it was like a lot closer to my riding and uh, knowing the bike, to, like you know, yeah. to sit up and stuff. So. Julian Blomer here at Thunder Valley, uh, first time ever for you here or have you yep. been here before? So no, what are you thinking time. about this place so far and you excited to race it? Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, a lot of elevation. so. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to go racing. Uh, knowing what you know of this place and the elevation and all that, have you kind of studied anything this week to be ready for it? Or maybe, I don't know, the team tells you what to be expected for this weekend? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, we're expecting uh, a little bit slower of a bike. We're in elevation, so it's normal. Um, I think I just I just went and rewatched last year. It's hard to say because last year was so deep and so ruddy, but then you look at years before and it wasn't that bad. So. I'm um, really just preparing for the for anything. I'm um, excited to go racing though. What do you feel is still kind of the biggest learning curve you're dealing with week to week and getting either acclimated with the tracks, the bike, yourself, the speed, whatever it is? Uh, for me, it's just it's just going the speed that I go in practice. Um, I, I feel so good during the week and then like Paul, I was just so far off on race day. Uh -huh. It was funny, I rode a lot with Chase this week and I, I got to do some good motos with him. And he was like, dude, if you rode like you rode, during the week, yeah. you'd be so much better. And I was like, yeah, I know. So uh, I just need to, to mimic what I do during the week. How tough is it then when, you know, you've had a few mid-pack starts already, when you start in those groups to not fall into the pace that they're running, not get kind of stuck doing what they're doing, and be able to change it up and charge around them? Yeah, for sure, it's hard. Hard to, when you get stuck behind some guys and, and it's hard to get out of that pace. Um, last weekend I got two good starts, so I was really happy with that. I uh, just need to mimic that again this weekend and uh, get get more used to being up front. Are you excited to try to see how good your starts will be at elevation then? Yeah, yeah, really excited. <laughs>